There is nothing new to be discovered in physics now. All that remains is more and more precise measurement. <laughs> and shortly afterwards, our understanding of physics turned tits up, because of this squad of bad asses. In the previous centuries, humans made significant progress in uncovering reality, but it turned out to be like cutting a hydra's head, except a tree grows ten heads instead of two. Today, science has more questions than ever. Is climate change real? Why the earth is flat? Why do vaccines cause autism? But these are nothing compared to the actual mysteries at the universe scale. We are pretty confident to say that our universe started from the Big Bang, which created everything around us. Except it shouldn't have. At the beginning, there was an equal amount of matter and antimatter, where antimatter is. Guess what? Still matter but with opposite charge. And if they interact, the battle of the black water happens. So, why is there only normal matter? Some suggest that it's because of particles called mesons, that are made up of one quark and one anti-quark. Experiments show that some of these mesons can transform in anti-mesons, and vice versa. However a specific type of them, the K-mesons, are more likely to change from their anti-particles to their normal particles than the other way around. Because of this asymmetry, in the beginning, about one normal particle per 10 billion managed to survive the annihilation. Or this all might be wrong and in reality there are galaxies made up entirely of antimatter but we don't detect them, because they look the same. Also where is all the Li? Fium. It's the third element in the periodic table and it was abundantly synthesized during the Big Bang. We are supposed to see it everywhere in the universe. Except we don't. Lithium Argon. Some think it's trapped in the core of the stars, others say that aliens bury them. Also we have no clue what makes up the 95% of the mass of the universe. We call it dark matter and dark energy because dark equals mystery, and it's really mysterious. Right now, galaxies spin really fast. Without it, galaxies would spin a lot slower, also they wouldn't be able to form. This effect is called gravitational lensing. And this is just one galaxy, whose light is being distorted by dark matter around this galaxy. Did I already mention that we have no idea what it is made up of? Maybe it's some kind of exotic particle that we haven't detected, or it's the fifth fundamental force. And then we have dark energy, three times more abundant than dark matter. Because of it, our universe's expansion is being accelerated, instead of being slowed down. But hey, more on this in another video. Gravity. gravity. Did someone say gravity? Oh right, we also don't know what gravity actually is. We discovered how it works in the 16th century, except that turned out to be wrong. A bit later, this also turned out to be incomplete. This is the standard model of particle physics. And there is no gravity in it. Physicists are searching for particles called graviton, the photons of gravity if you like. And if we find them, we would have a somewhat complete standard model. Now crank the temperature up a bit. A bit more. The weak strong and electromagnetic forces have become the same. Who knows, maybe if we add even more energy gravity will also enter the party. That would give us the theory of everything. Literally, everything. With it, you could describe any particle interaction, make general relativity and quantum field theory date, and make Einstein orgasm. As you might have understood by now, our universe is a very weird and mysterious place. And we didn't even touch the 11 dimensions of the universe. Or this weird thing. Or parallel universes. And even more parallel universes. You won't believe it but, even more parallel universes. And then there is quantum mechanics. The definition of weirdness. There is an uncountable number of secrets to be uncovered, and even when we think that we are almost done, we get this shit. What the f